Hey, Jim Hall here. Just wanted to shoot a quick video today. Um, it's going to be a little longer and a little more in-depth than normal, but what I want to talk about is keyword research. And anytime that you're doing um, like a video, like a YouTube video, especially some of these shorts now, or if you're doing a blog post, you want to have a topic that is keyword researched so that you can tell what people are searching for. A lot of people don't realize that the way that you're found is by the keywords that people are typing in. So let me transition over to Google and show you what I mean by that. Um, let me come over here to google.com. We'll transition. Uh, got my little got my little self down here in the corner now. And what happens is when people go to Google, they actually type in what they're searching for. So let's say that they're searching for home business, right? You'll see that a bunch of other ideas come up and these ideas, these are fine, except for these don't really mean anything. These are just giving you ideas of what maybe other people have typed in. Um, a lot of people put a lot of weight in these and some of these are, are fair, right? You can start to get ideas from these. You can do the same thing over at YouTube. Um, it seems that YouTubes are a little bit smarter than Google's for some reason. Um, but nonetheless, they're still just ideas. Maybe people are typing them in, maybe they're not. They're not giving you any idea what kind of volume or or what the um, how hard it is to get listed for these. Now, one thing that is kind of cool is you see where it says home business ideas. If you start to type in ideas and then you continue after that, you'll actually get longer keywords. And longer keywords are what we're after, right? Because the longer the keyword, the less people are typing it in. If you were just to do a video on home business, or even let's say you just wanted to do a video on home, right? You're gonna have trillions of, of results when you go to type that in. So when you type in home business ideas, and then you start to get um, down in here like into meal. I'm not sure what to meal is, but if you were into meal, and here's an even better one, home business ideas for women into meal, right? So this gets you very localized, it gets you really tight into the searches. And then the way that you can search and see and find out if this is worth your time then, okay, you can see here there's now obviously Tamil looks like it's a foreign country um, because of the language that's there. But you can come over to Google again and we'll, we'll take this keyword and we'll copy it over to Google and put quotes around it. And when you put quotes around it, you make it a string of its own. Now, you might be saying, yeah, but who does that? Some people do search this way because it makes the searches a lot more unique. And you'll see that when you then go to videos, there's, there's well, there's 4,900 videos for that. So um, Home Business Ideas and Tamil are, are not a, a great source to start to do a video on. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to what I what's called Uber Suggest. I had signed in, but I had to restart my computer because my mic wasn't working. But come on over here to Uber Suggest. You get a couple of searches a day. So when you're first getting started, um, that's probably gonna work for you. And then just come over here to keywords, keyword ideas. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Mostly what you're interested in is keyword ideas. All right, now we saw that Home Business Ideas and Tamil was it pulled up in the searches, right? It also had a lot of results in the videos area. So what we want to do here in Uber Suggest is find out, is anybody even searching for home business ideas in Tamil, right? If, if no one's searching for it, you don't want to be shooting a video about it, okay? So let, let's see here. So home business ideas in Tamil, 10 people a month are searching for this. Now, 10 people is 10 people, right? The, the SEO difficulty is only a 5 out of 100. So that's a pretty easy one. I, I kind of tend to disagree a little bit because we saw there's a lot of videos on it, 
right? I mean, there's it says right here there's 4,920 just videos. If we go back to all, there was 18,000 search results. So it's going to be fairly difficult, in my opinion, to get up here on the top of this list of 18,000 videos. So you go back to Uber Suggest and you see, okay, so what does have a decent chance or a decent search amount? And what I like to do is come in here to volume. Now there's going to be a lot of them in here that are zero. These zeros are basically that same thing again. There's no constant um, amount of searches for them. Maybe they hit nine one month, maybe they hit three one month, but they never, they haven't stayed at 10 long enough to be rated at a 10. And that's actually 10 searches. Okay, so if they're zeros, they're probably not worth your time. So you can come over here and you can narrow that down from, from one and then apply. And that's going to eliminate all those zeros out of your feed. And then what you want to do is go by your SEO difficulty. Go ahead and, and sort them by your SEO difficulty and then look through and see if there's any above 10. Now, all of these have 10. So you could use all of these different, long, look how long this one is, small business ideas for ladies at home in Tamil. Okay, that's a long keyword for 10 searches a month. If we take this over to, to Google again, and again, we're, we want to put quotes around it. Now that got us down to only five total results. So if someone was searching for small business ideas for ladies at home in Tamil, now granted, again, only 10 people a month search for this, right? But you're going to come up in the top fairly easily. If we take quotes off of this, yeah, it's going to get pretty long. But if you had that specific keyword in there, you're still going to end up in the top of that listing because you have all of those key, all of those words in the keyword. Um, and that makes it a lot easier to get in there. But sophisticated people, people that have gone to college, learned how to actually search in search engines, will will put quotes around their quote their searches quite often. So there is an there is an amount of people that will do that. That's weird. This one only came back with four this time instead of five. I think it was five last time. And then look, a couple of these are ads. So you're gonna pop right up here on the top. Let's click over to videos. There's five results for videos. Okay. So that's it. That's all the searches you're you ha you have. I mean all the results you have as far as competition. Um, 758,000 when you don't have quotes around it. But you're still going to be able to get up there. See, like right here, small business ideas for women in Tamil is up here at the top. And if and if we put quotes back around it, you see that picture down there, 9 minutes and 18 seconds top small business ideas for women. I'm, I'm betting that's going to be, well, it's not actually, that's pretty weird there. Um, so anyways... So you want to look in your Uber Suggest to find out exactly what kind of volume you're getting. You want to go, you know, the higher the volume, the better, obviously, right? And the lower the SEO difficulty, the better. Um, you want to stay out of the yellow if at all possible. Now, if you got one that's really awesome, then you could go into the yellow and you could work out okay. Um, but you're going to have to get some backlinks, you're going to have to do some work in order to get up into the yellow ones. The green ones are pretty easy. You're still going to have to do a little bit of work, but sometimes you'll get a video, you'll get a, you know, a blog post, something like that to pop right up in there when they're in the green, because there's just not a lot of, of competition out there for it. Especially again, when we're talking about one of these long tail keywords, small business ideas in Tamil language. Now, I'm not saying to use this by any means. I'm just saying that that's how you need to narrow down your searches. Um, anything that you're searching for, if you wanted to do um, Bible verses, then you can come in here, look, Bible verses for strength and peace of mind. You're going to start to get longer ones, okay? Now, don't just assume that Bible verses for strength and peace of mind is actually getting searches. You want to then take that over to Uber Suggest. 
let's scroll back up here. Come on. Come on, Internet. Work for me. Um, clear out your old your old searches and then search for this one. Okay. Now, remember, if you're on a free one, you're only going to get somewhere between 3 and 10 searches a day. Um, you can get a lifetime membership to Uber Suggest for like two or three hundred dollars for and you never have to pay for it again. Okay, so Bible verses for strength and peace of mind only at 20 per day. I mean 20 per month, right? And the SEO difficulty is a 63 out of 100. So you're probably, even though it's a pretty long one, it's probably not worth your time. So you want to come in here, again, go from one to to infinite and then search by your SEO difficulty and look here's here's a few better ones um, let's see no real good ones in this particular but here here are a couple that still fall into the tens what are good Bible verses for strength added at 10 searches a month with only an SEO difficulty of 18 this is a way better keyword than this keyword simply because there's there's half as many people looking for it, right? But the the difficulty is way better. So your chances of getting up to the top are a whole lot better than if you're trying to to do to get in here for the 20. Now, if you really wanted to try to squeeze one out, here's Bible verses for peace of mind that has 1900 searches a month with a with a SEO difficulty of 35. You're in the yellow, but you're just barely in the yellow. 1 to 30 is green, 35 is the low end of the yellow. So you could, with some effort, beat the algorithms and get up there to, towards the top of the searches for this particular keyword. Again, the people that are going to search for uh, with quotes, you're going to pick up some of those 1900. Fairly simple. Um, you know, get a few people linking back to your site, and then that's going to that's gonna help you to get in there. One other thing I want to mention is, when, when you have an opportunity like this, you see where this one is only a four cents for CPC? This means that your CPC cost, your cost per uh, click, is four cents, okay? That's if you were to go and do a paid advertisement for that. Now that's good, if you're paying, that's good, only four cents for this one. You could go find some um, AdWords, maybe, um, I forget, some Bing um, ads that you could get down low for four or five cents. There's a few other, there's a lot of other pay-per-click search engines out there still that you could use something like this and be the top for this price here, okay? So that's one side of what that means. The other side of what this means is if you're doing a, a video for, say, YouTube, you want to go with the higher one. So you want to have this one that says, what God says about peace of mind, because you're actually getting paid more for clicks when people see your videos and they come through and they watch them. So if you're doing videos, you want to kind of, when all things are equal, and they're kind of equal here, they're all green, they're all 10, except for this spot right here, you have four cents versus $2 and 74 cents. This is a much better keyword for a video because your your opportunity to get paid is higher. Your paid difficulty, you don't really care about in that situation because what you're doing is trying to position yourself to get lead to get ad revenue on your YouTube video. So that would be your better keyword in this particular situation. Um, that's really about all there is to it. Um, you gotta, you know, you gotta look around, find what makes sense. You gotta know your target market fairly well in order to hone into the right keywords. Now, if you're blogging daily, if you're YouTube videoing daily, then some of these that are getting 10 a month, if you can start getting 100 videos that are getting 10 searches a month and you're getting rated up towards the top, after a little while, you're starting to get some real traffic. All right? Um, so that's all I have for today. I'll see you next time.